Is a picture really worth a thousand words? Hey everybody, it is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and thanks so much for joining me for another installment of Etsy SEO Changes 2018. If you've missed any of the previous videos, make sure you go check the description box down below so you can catch them and there's more coming so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you are notified when I put out another video in the series or more great content. So we have all heard the phrase, a picture is worth a thousand words. In Etsy's SEO updates in 2018, having great pictures could be the difference between being found in search and not. And we know being found in search is what leads to sales. In this video, we're gonna be tackling another aspect of the Etsy SEO changes in 2018, pictures. I have always said that pictures are probably the number one thing that will get your items sold. And in this update for Etsy's SEO, having pictures that match your title, descriptions, tags are going to be key to having your items found in search. If you've been following along with the Etsy SEO update series, then you know the number one thing that I have taken away from this is customer experience. Etsy is making sure that the customer is happy, that their experience on the platform is exactly what they're looking for, and that finding the items that they are looking for is as easy as possible. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the kinds of expectations you should have for your pictures in your Etsy listings. I have always been a huge proponent of having excellent pictures, making sure your pictures are crystal clear, show any attributes or faults for the item, and also the measurements that could be key to whether or not a person buys the item. I'm gonna link a video down below that Renee Christine did where she's talking to Kara of A Cake to Remember. Towards the end of the video, they start talking about photos and the importance of having clear pictures. Now, I know it might be a little bit controversial because it's not 100% yet. And again, I like making sure I get information straight from Etsy, but they did talk a little bit about the possibility that Etsy might start doing photo recognition. As far as the rest of the search engine is going, it is definitely a learning software um, that is going to be learning what to look for, what the buyer is looking for. So having really clear pictures that are not confusing is going to help tie in with your title and everything else to make your item that puzzle piece that fits all together for the customer to find your item. So let's take a look at pictures. Now, this is one of my very, very, very early listings that sold a long time ago, but I wanted to make an example out of myself. Um, and again, there's a lot going on with the titles and the keywords and other things as well, but we're gonna focus on those pictures because that's what we're talking about in this video. So the number one thing that Etsy is wanting us to take away is to make the customer's experience as easy as possible. So number one, having clear close-up pictures um, this is not a very good example because it is set back. It is kind of blurry. You can't really see a lot of the faults with it. I mean, I can see them, but if somebody is scrolling through, they may not be very appealing, this picture. <laughs> Again, uh, same thing here. It's a bit messy. It's kind of dark. I definitely could have brightened that up a bit. And then here's where it gets really fun. So this is super confusing, especially if Etsy does end up moving towards the photo recognition this is not a photo of a bracelet. If you did, if I dropped this into a Google reverse image search, I guarantee you that bracelet is not what the Google image search, <laughs> search is gonna pick up on this. It is gonna pick up shell, right? Um, this is a picture of a shell, just happens to have a little bracelet hanging on it. I thought I was being so fancy. That, again, this is early days, trying to do something fun and interesting, but no, I've really gotten away from that. So. Again, <laughs> what you want to make sure that you do with your pictures is have crystal clear pictures, make sure you show all the positive and negative attributes, and get all those measurements in there. So here is a listing where I did a little bit better on my photos. So I've got really up close, clear pictures of my earrings. I make sure that I share multiple image of, images of it in multiple um, angles. So I show the bottom angle so you can see the wear across the bottom. I show the backs of them so you can see any kind of wear and damage on the back. 
or distressed. <laughs> They're distressed. And I try to get as close and clear a picture as I can of the maker's mark if there is one. Again, images of anywhere across the bottom. And then I've also included images that show the measurements of the item, both the barrel part and how far they hang down, because that's gonna be important to some people is how far they hang. Another thing I do when I take pictures of metal pieces is include a picture of it with a magnet showing that it is not magnetic. Now, if you have an item that requires more photos than this, what you can do is create a collage of maybe the pieces, the parts that are damaged or create a collage of the measurements so it only takes up one of the images. I do recommend that you have pictures of your measurements in there because sometimes the buyers don't read the descriptions fully and they might end up unhappy and want to return the item. So while it is important to also put the measurements in the description and to also list any flaws in the description, it is equally important to make sure you get those in the photographs too because sometimes the description is not read fully um, and this way it is clear in the photos it is clear in the description we're trying to create that complete puzzle with all of the pieces equaling your item so what are your go-to's when it comes to taking pictures i want to know everybody has a different method for taking pictures leave a comment down below sharing what you use for taking your pictures and if you sell jewelry on Etsy or eBay, come on over and join Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers on Facebook. We have got an extreme makeover jewelry edition going on where we critique each other's listings and I create a video sharing ways that we can improve our listings on Etsy or eBay if you're on eBay to make sure that your item is being found in search. And once again, don't miss any more videos from this series. Go down there and hit subscribe and the little bell next to it so that you are notified when other videos come out that will be helpful for you to improve your business. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. That could be key. Seriously, Luke. No. Oh. Your pictures are crystal clear and show all of your faults. Not your faults, but like the picture's faults. <laughs>